The downside with using the fixed tool post in the lathe is that I lose any fine adjustment on the x-axis. When using the compound slide, of course, I've got the fine adjustment that comes with the compound slide itself. All I need to do is align the compound slide to the x-axis of the machine. Without the compound slide in place, the only indication I have is the rather crude graduations on the carriage handwheel here. And, as we can see, there's a hell of a lot of backlash in that wheel. To get around the challenge, the obvious answer is to fit a DRO. I can have a scale on the x-axis and of course a scale on the cross slide as well. And from those, of course, I can determine exactly where the cutting tool is. However, that's a long-term project. I get around this at the moment by using a DTI on a magnetic base. Just clamp the DTI onto the lathe bed with the base and then put the DTI plunger up against the rear side of the carriage here. It's a nice simple fix and allows me to move the carriage along the x-axis and of course track its position relative to where I started from which works fine for most of the work I'm doing on the lathe. I don't need to know where I am across the full length of the bed. However, it is a bit clunky. It means I have to faff around with the DJI and the magnetic base every time I want to position the carriage. So in this video, I'm just going to make a simple clamp which will attach to the lathe bed and hold the DJI and allow me to move it up and down the lathe bed with a, a couple of bolts, probably Allen cap. I've captured the design for the clamp using Fusion 360. As we can see, it's a relatively simple design. There are two parts, the main body and a clamping bar. The body will be located over the V-way on the carriageway and the clamping bar will be secured via the two bolts down through the main body to clamp up underneath the carriageway. In the side of the body, there is a hole for the DTI to be located with a small hole at the end which be tapped M4 for a grub screw to be used to clamp the DTI in place. I've got some 3.8 flat bar mild steel which is just around 9.5 millimeters so I'll cut out the shape roughly, clean up the shape on the milling machine and then drill and tap the various holes shouldn't take too long at all. What I've got here is a chunk of 3.8 mild steel bar. As you can see it's quite roughly cut. What I do now is just clean up two of the edges. So I've got an end and one side and from there I can then mark up the other dimensions and do the rest of the machining. I've applied mark out blue to one side of the block. The bottom face here and the left hand face have both been squared off in the milling machine. We've just seen that operation. What I've now done is just marked the external dimensions so you can see this line described across the top. I need to reduce the height to bring it down to that line. And also I've uh, used the scribe to mark out the recess which I'll need to cut out for the V bed on the lathe. Although these are marked out, these are only for indication when it comes to machining these final dimensions. I will be using the vernier to measure the width and the height, etc. Although I probably will cut the V by eye.
uh, to position the workpiece in the vise I've used a couple of angle plates uh, a 30 and a 15 degrees to give me 45 and then clamped the workpiece tight in place. That should be clear, you can see where I've cut the V-shape now using the end mill. For the main body, all I need to do now is drill some holes. Down from the top through to the bottom will be the two M6 clearance holes for the clamping bolts. Through the body here will be the location hole for the DJI itself. And then in, down in from this end, an M4 threaded hole to be able to clamp on to the DJI when it's fitted. Perfect. With the end hole tap there for the securing screw, that really finishes the body. I'll give it a bit of a clean up with some emery, round off some of those corners uh, and it's good to go. To finish off now, all I need to do is machine the clamping bar. That'll be quite straightforward, so I've got a bit of 3-8 bar here anyway, so I just need to clean up the ends, cut it to length uh, and drill and tap the two M6 holes. No point in showing that. After completing the clamp bar, I gave the whole of the assembly a good clean up with some emery, rounded off a few of these corners and as you can see I've also applied a chemical blue. To use it I just need to move it to where required on the bed and then clamp up the bolts. When I put the clamping screw in to avoid damaging the shoulder on the DTI. I've just got a little bit of rubber. So it'll be the rubber that's actually up against the shoulder there. There we go. To use it, all I need to do is position the clamp up against the back of the carriage. Exactly where I position it, of course, it will depend on whether I want to work towards the headstock or work away from the headstock. Clamp into position. I can reset the zero and then all my movements on the carriage now can be accurately tracked. All in all, a nice simple little project for the lathe. 